Hello friends and happy Wednesday. My name is Celeste. I'm a library assistant here at Mayhawn Library. Now friends, do you ever find yourself at home with all of these random pens that you don't know what to do with? Well if so, you're in luck because today, in the spirit of spring, we're going to be doing flower pens. You guys ready? Let's begin. Okay friends, for this video, you need the following supplies. You will need fake flowers, pens, which can be either capped or clipped, you will need floral wire cutters or extra strength scissors. For this video, I'm using extra strength scissors. You will need floral tape, which can be found at Walmart, Target, Hobby Lobby, or those kind of craft supplies can be found. You will also need glue. And finally, this is optional, but it's been a great help for me when I do these flowers, and that is scotch tape. I'm now gonna model how to do the flower pens with a capped pen and a click pen. First up, I'm gonna do a cap pen. So you're gonna start at the very top of the pen and I'm gonna use this really pretty purple pink flower. So this is why I said that it would be great to use um, scotch tape because after cutting the length that you want, which I cut off to about this point, I'm going to hold it to the side, just like so. Like this, okay. And then I'm gonna get some tape. And it's gonna help hold it down for me so I can do the wrapping part of it. So now I'm going to get my floral tape and I'm going to cut off about this much of it. I like to do about like two rounds around the pen. So I'm going to put these to the side. And then now I'm going to start wrapping. So I'm going to grab one end of my floral tape and I'm going to put it against the stem and I'm going to start wrapping. And I go up, I go from top to bottom. So I go up with the tape, and I start working my way down. And as you're wrapping it, kind of, even though you taped it down, or if you didn't tape it down, maybe you glued it down, you still need to just kind of hold on to like the sides of the pen, so we can kind of keep it firm. There you go, there you go. I'm gonna undo something, I don't like having like the little air pockets, so there you go. Make it as snug as you can. And I keep my cap on while I do this for cap pens because it helps me know at what point to stop. Because you still want to be able to use the pen and so if you can't cap it, it's going to get dry faster. So I'm going to go to about right here and I'm going to work my way back up. And this is where your glue comes in, because I'm going to use the glue to hold down the tape. Okay. Press it down. I cool down for like about 5-10 seconds. Kind of smooth it around a little bit. And... Here is my first pen. And you can go a little bit lower if you want to. I just, I, my goal is to keep using the pen. So again, like I just try to make sure that I have room so that way the, the cap can fit back on without any problems. But here's pen number one. Okay, next up we're gonna do a clip pen. Okay, so now our flower pen with the cap is all done. So now we're gonna move on to a clicky pen. And we're gonna do the same steps. I'm gonna grab my flower, and I want to use like this orangey yellow one, and I'm gonna put it to the side, just like so. And I, I didn't cut the stem for this one too much, maybe like an inch or so, because for the click pin, it's a little bit different. And when you put the flower down, you wanna make sure you put it on the side, same as you did for the, clicky, uh, for the cap pin, and make sure that you don't get the clicky part. You wanna make sure you can still access that. Okay, I'm gonna do one more round of tape. Right here, make it a little bit more snug. Okay. All right, so here it goes. And now I'm gonna grab my floral tape. And I still have two strands like I did last time. So I'm gonna grab my first strand. And I'm gonna 
start wrapping around. And when you wrap it, you wanna make sure that you do not get the clicky pin portion of it, the clicky part of it. All right, same thing, hold it tight, and then start wrapping. Start wrapping. Same as you did for the cat pin. Nothing on this one really changes aside from the fact that you make sure that you don't get the clicky part, like I said before, and also you can go further down because you don't have to worry about a cap. So I'm gonna go. Okay. Then I'm gonna go back up. Make sure it's tight. And actually for this one, I feel pretty good just doing one layer of it. But if you want to do two, make sure it st stays on extra well, or it's extra tight, you're welcome to do that. I grab my glue. Do a little dab right here. your clicky pen and here's our finished product how did y'all's turn out if you do this craft make sure you tag us i want to thank you guys so much for watching today and i'll see you guys next time bye